Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your likes your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Leo this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 24th through the 30th this is for Leo Sun Leo Moon and Leo rising signs so Leo I am switching it up I'm using a couple of new decks this week All right, Leo, so at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups. Very nice. So this Knight of Cups can represent, for some Leos, this could be someone coming in and presenting an offer to you. And this is an emotionally fulfilling offer. So this could be an invitation or a proposal of some kind. So for some Leos, you might have someone coming in and maybe asking you out on a date. Um, Halloween is, is approaching. Um, so for some Leos, this could be maybe you getting asked to like a Halloween party or something like that. And then for some other Leos, this could be you extending an offer to someone. And of course, this can be an offer of love, but not necessarily. For some other Leos, this will be some sort of significant offer coming through. Now, because I have judgment and then I also have justice here, for some Leos, this is going to be like some sort of a legal offer offer or proposal that's coming through um, the overall energy Leo for the entire week is the eight of cups so this is very positive for some Leos this is this is travel this is movement you could be traveling you could be moving to a new home and then for some other Leos this is you emotionally moving forward maybe leaving behind a situation that is no longer serving you for some Leos but very very much focused on the future and moving forward so this is very positive for some of you, um, you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards maybe a relationship for some Leos. We are starting out with the Seven of Swords here. And the Seven of Swords can represent several different things. For some Leos, because I also have the Ten of Swords here, which the Ten of Swords, Tens, represent completion. So this is a cycle that is completing. With the Ten of Swords, it could have been uh, a difficult period or a difficult cycle within your life, Leo, that is now coming to the end. The worst is now behind you, and you are leaving this behind. Uh, for some Leos, it could have been like a, a shady uh, situation, um, some sort of shady situation maybe there was deception or someone trying to hide something from you um, and for some Leos this certainly could have been like a legal situation this could have been a divorce or or something legal um, where someone was trying to hide assets I mean I'm getting all sorts of messages with this um, but there just could have been some sort of underhanded sneaky 
situation or, or things that were taking place, Leo. But with the Ten of Swords and Justice here, this is coming to an end. Um, and I do feel like if someone was trying to cheat you or trick you, Leo, um, you know, this is karmic justice that's coming in. Justice will be served. Um, and this is a cycle that's coming to an end. Now, for some other Leos, um, I am sensing there could be like a secret maybe relationship that's going on or maybe that was going on. Uh, and that doesn't always have to be negative. I don't mean that in a negative way, but there could have been like a love triangle or something like something going on where you had to maybe hide or keep it hidden. Um, but I see that actually coming to an end as well. So maybe things are going to come out into the open. Or maybe there's not a need for it to be secret anymore. Maybe that person, you know, if someone was attached, maybe they're getting a divorce or something like that. Or maybe you're getting a divorce, Leo, because we have justice here and then judgment as well. Um, I do have uh, the King of Pentacles here. So for some Leos, maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo individual uh, this week. And then for some other Leos, there could be there could be a Libra, there could be a water sign person, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, or Pisces. That's quite significant. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is your energy. The King of Pentacles is very grounded, practical. Um, he he makes excellent decisions, excellent business decisions, uh, especially. But for some of you, I feel like this is a decision with justice here. This could be a decision or even some legal documents um, coming through for you this week. I feel like uh, a decision could be very significant. Now, for some of you, could be receiving a decision from an earth sign person. And then for some other Leos, this could be a decision in regards to an inheritance or property, something to do with finances, something to do with assets. Again, there could have been like a sneaky sort of situation going on, but I see that coming to an end. Um, if there was just some deception going on, um, I do see that coming to an end. And financially, I think it's going to be a great week for you, Leo. Now, because I have justice and judgment here, this certainly could be like a legal case that's maybe coming to an end. You're receiving that judgment. This could be a lawsuit. This could be a divorce. This could be anything that's legal uh, coming to an end. And now you're able to move on from this situation justice is a yes answer so I, I see this coming out very favorable for many of you i see karmic justice being served and judgment can be also um for some of you you hearing the call you could be making a decision to move forward with your life in some way leo i see you rising up from these this difficult time these difficulties that you've been experiencing with judgment here and then the ten of swords you're absolutely rising up from that leo and you're moving on you're moving forward judgment represents rebirth so this is you literally moving on um with the king of wands here here's your energy leo no matter if you're male or female you're passionate you're fiery and wands really represent taking action this is you taking action leo and, and moving on with your life moving forward starting something new and what's very interesting is i have this four of cups i have the four of cups i have the knight of wands and then we have that knight of cups at the bottom of the deck and i feel like for some leos this four of cups here could have been for some Leos, you waiting on an offer, waiting on an offer, feeling emotionally down, maybe lonely, feeling um, not in the best place emotionally, but I feel like that offer is now coming through. If you've been waiting on a particular person to maybe offer you something or get in touch with you, I feel like that's coming in quite suddenly with this energy of the Knight of Wands. This is that very hasty, sudden energy. So I feel like that's coming through quite suddenly. And for some of you, I actually sense it's going to be kind of like a shock or maybe you've been waiting for quite some time. And sometimes, Leo, when we're waiting on something for quite some time we get used to that energy and I feel like for some of you this is going to be very sudden um, or surprising but in a good way 
Um, and then for some other Leos, I feel like there was an offer that was presented um, or is being presented perhaps this week and maybe it's something you have to think about. Maybe it's something you're going to ponder. Maybe it's not something you're jumping on right away. Um, with this Knight of Cups and then the Four of Cups here, this could be an offer coming in from someone that's perhaps maybe not your usual type, if this is like a romantic offer. For some of you, this could be from a person that um, maybe you're not interested in, but I'm definitely um, sensing, Leo, that you need, to you need to take a second look at this. Um, this could be something that makes you just very, very happy and something that really benefits you. So if you are a Leo that is receiving an offer unexpectedly uh, this week, definitely don't brush it off immediately. Take your time. Think about it. Think it over. Um, for some Leos, I feel like it's romantic. Absolutely. And I think that for some Leos as well, this is a person coming back from your past. So this is someone coming back, um, someone that you already know. This is someone that, for some Leos, you could have been romantically involved with this person, but I am sensing for many of you that that necessarily might not be the case. This could just be a friend. This could be someone that you know. Um, and, and maybe you're going to give this person a second chance for some Leos, or maybe you're going to, you know, give them a shot here. So... Um, this is very positive. I see the end of the week. Um, I think there's a lot happening more towards the end of the week. There's a lot going on. Um, I see a lot of Leos definitely getting out and about, definitely socializing this week. And there's definitely a lot happening here. Uh, if you've had like a legal trial or case going on, um, I definitely see that that decision or that judgment coming through. I see a fairness coming through, Leo. And I see uh, the completion of maybe something that's been difficult for you as well. I'm going to pull you an additional guidance card. I will have the names of the decks listed below in the description bar, Leo. Um, this is my Magical Times uh, Empowerment Cards. This is a beautiful deck. I will have all of the information listed below. I did feel the need to switch it up this week, Leo. Additional guidance for Leo for this upcoming week. Additional guidance for Leo. Additional guidance for Leo. What else does Leo need to know for this upcoming week? All right, so I have far too many cards. I'm going to pick from this pile. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. Strength. You have the courage. You can endure. Find your center and spiral into your power. This is beautiful. It's the strength card in this deck which normally you, you Leo, represent the lion, but in this deck, it's the bear. It's the polar bear. And you have that strength, Leo. So whatever is going on, however you resonate with this, Leo, you have that strength um, to literally overcome whatever difficulties you are going through. You are closing the door on this chapter of your life. Financially, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you, Leo. Emotionally, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you. I see you moving forward. There's a lot of movement here. And there's a lot of new beginnings that are coming in for you, Leo. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.